Hi, welcome to Storytime. We have this book that says Mother Goose, and Goose is crossed out, and there's Bruce. I believe this is Bruce. Let's find out together. Bruce was a bear who lived all by himself. He was a grump. Poor Bruce. Probably because he lived all by himself. He did not like sunny days. He did not like rain. He did not like cute little animals. Oh my goodness. I wonder what he does like. <sighs> Bruce only liked one thing. Eggs. He collected them from all over the forest. Good morning, Mrs. Sparrow. But Bruce didn't eat eggs raw like other bears. Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes that he found on the internet. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard-boiled goose eggs drizzled with honey salmon sauce. So he went out to get the ingredients. First, he caught a few salmon. Then he collected honey from a beehive. He liked to support local business, you see. Last, he went to Mrs. Goose's nest to pay her a visit. And are these free eggs free-range organic? See, he's collecting all his stuff. Hmm. At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for hard boiling, but the fire in his stove fizzled, so he went out to get more wood. When Bruce came back, he was met with an unwelcome surprise. Uh-oh. What do you think happened? Mama! <laughs> Bruce became the victim of mistaken identity. <laughs> <clears throat> Bruce wanted hard-boiled eggs, not goslings. He supposed he could settle for buttered goslings on toast. But for some reason, he lost his appetite. I'm glad he lost his appetite. Bruce scooped up the little geese and stomped back to their nest. I will have to ask Mrs. Goose about her return policy. There was a note in the, in the nest. Be back in April. Mother Goose, only to find Mrs. Goose had flown south early. Bruce left the goslings there anyway and went back home. Oh, I do hope they follow him home. They need help. Mama, Mama. But he was followed. Bruce was very stern and said things like, go away, and I am not your mother. And also, I liked you better when you were eggs. Oh, he's not being very nice, is he? He really is gr grumpy. <coughs> Excuse me. Bruce could take it no longer and became extra grumpy with them. Roar! And look, he scared them into a bunch. The poor little babies. He's so grumpy. It didn't work. Goslings always follow their mother, even if she is a he and he is a bear. Everywhere he goes, they're going to follow. Yep. Bruce was stuck with them. He tried to make the best of it. Well, I give him credit. At least he got them something to swim in, right? Yeah. <laughs> It was hard work. They don't like what he's making them. They're all taking a nap. Look at them. Oh my goodness. Annoying baby geese. Stubborn teenage geese. Boring adult geese as the seasons passed. Bruce watched the pesky goslings grow older. There they go. They're getting bigger. Then one fall afternoon, he saw other goose families flying south. Finally, he'd be rid of those geese and he could take a long winter nap. He probably needs a nap because he's so grumpy. Bruce explained migration, but they didn't listen. They put on their winter coats and hats and scarves. <laughs> Bruce
Bruce needed the geese to leave. So he got creative. Oh my goodness. <laughs> got a slingshot. Do you think that'll work? I don't know. Nothing worked. The geese would not leave Bruce. <sighs> he even got them little airplanes. It's crazy. It's crazy. So Bruce decided to pack some bags and take these geese into town. They boarded a bus. And migrated to Miami. Now, every winter, Bruce and his geese head south together. They laze about at the beach in tacky shirts, sipping ice-cold lemonade, while Bruce dreams of new recipes. Recipes that don't hatch. Look, they're all at the beach. <laughs> Uh-oh. Little turtle's walking up. Mama? <laughs> I don't think so. That was very cute.